And welcome to the 2000 Pro Singles National Championships. I'm your commentator, Kelly Green. This is the referee, James Comstock. Getting ready to introduce the players. Let's listen in. David getting ready to serve. He's moving over to that familiar position against the left side wall to hit his uh, lob serve, which uh, usually drives Vince crazy. That was a beautiful drive by David, uh, just the right height. Vince couldn't cut it off, went to the back wall with it, but it was uh, too tough to get. Again, back to the lob serve, and a terrible lob serve at that. Vince rolls it out. These two squared off last year in Baltimore for the uh, singles championship. And I remember David struggled early on with his uh, lob serve there as well. Great serve return. Vince hit a nice slider down the right. And David uh, effortlessly just uh, punched it back to the ceiling down to the left corner and got a forced error out of it. Again, back to the lob serve. And we'll play that over. We saw an erratic bounce off the uh, door joint there. Vince has a, a wonderful left hand. It's a, he's very ambidextrous, but sometimes uh, he loses consistency with his overhand left, and he can uh, erupt in, a, in several errors. Another error, error off the back wall as well, but that was a very tough ceiling shot once again. Oh, Vince rolls it out. Uh, David's ceiling shot was uh, way off the mark, a little too strong, and uh, out to Vince's right hand. Again, you can see the re returner serves are just a little hard right now with that live ball. In fact, both players are having a hard time keeping it off the back wall, and uh, they both have uh, deadly back wall games as well. That was a, a nice uh, kill shot off the back wall, but that's kind of pretty much what David wants Vince to try. Uh, try to kill the ball with David standing on, on the short line, even the front line, uh, waiting for it. And it's a very low percentage shot. That was probably uh, an error due to the glass. It's pretty dark on that left side, and uh, the ball hopped in and out at Vince. And he tried to go offense, but it was just too tough. Again, you can see the deadly accuracy of his of the lob serve. Nice rally there. Uh, both players had chances to put it away. David especially had a big setup there uh, to the right corner but hit it a uh, little high and came up and Vince was able to keep the rally going. David hits that lob serve so precisely it's almost impossible. Oh, beautiful kill, nice re-kill uh, off of David's back wall attempt by Vince. But it's almost impossible to take the ball out of the air when David hits the lob so close to the, to the short line. Again, 
and you can see the nice three wall returns. Uh, Chapman's return to serve is the best in the game. Nice call by the referee. Vince is uh, one of the fastest, if not the fastest player on the tour, and he can cover a lot of ground very quickly. Again, another beautiful return of serve off a very tough slider down the right. And Chapman is back in. Vince has been serving very well this tournament, uh, particularly in the uh, semifinals. He and Nadia Alvarado Jr. played an incredible match, 11-10 uh, tiebreaker, in which uh, uh, both of them put on a serving display that uh, most of the people watching won't, won't ever forget. Another very tough ceiling shot. Uh, you can see how David, uh, much like Paul Haber in the, in the late 60s and early 70s, uh, can virtually hit offensive ceiling shots. Very, very difficult to return. A very rare unforced error. David off, the, off his back foot, but uh, a very simple shot to at least get back to the front wall and said he drove it into the floor. There you see Vince going for the, the crotch there on the left. Uh, he had a lot of success with that uh, in the semifinal match with Naughty. As, as you can see, Vince has a, an excellent uh, fly kill game. It's a good call. Again, Vince is so fast that uh, he probably could have got that if, not, uh, if David had not been in the way. But Vince plays a lot of three wall in, in Los Angeles and uh, just has a tremendous fly game as, uh, as well as an all around great offensive game. Again, a, a very nice drive by David. The height is so important on those types of shots. And when he hit the ball hard and right past the short line uh, and jammed Vince who clearly wanted to do something else with it uh, besides go defense and made an error. Another nice drive. Again, you can see the difference in the two players. Vince uh, letting you go offense and David keeping him off balance uh, with lots of uh, drives and ceiling shots. These two squared off again, uh, as I mentioned uh, last year in Baltimore. And I believe uh, Vince had to default after losing the first game uh, because he had a very sore right elbow. A very flat uh, back wall kill. Uh, David's technique off the back wall is the best on the Pro Tour. He does it uh, exactly the way the, the book uh, says. He gets his forearm parallel to the floor and uh, hits a beautiful flat kills uh, over and over again with uh, great consistency. That was a relatively easy shot, though, that David missed. Uh, again, I think both players uh, bothered here in the early going by the, uh, the, the left side wall glass. Even though that was a screen, you can see the left hand fist of David uh, hitting a beautiful return back down the left uh, side wall. He just has no weaknesses, but his defense is particularly uh, impressive. There you see a nice defensive shot with his right fist. But he let you go offense and uh, gave uh, Vince a fairly easy shot off the right side wall there. So Vince gets on the board at one serving five. Another tough serve on the right. Oh, tremendous re-kill. Chapman wants a hinder, but obviously he couldn't have been too hindered if he re-killed the shot. Let's listen in and see what they have to say about this. Again, uh, David expected a hinder call. That was a good call by the referee, I believe. But another unforced error by Vince. Uh, this is uh, kind of a typical pattern these two get into. 
David jumping off to these early leads and Vince uh, having to uh, make up ground. Really sort of a typical pattern that all the pros have uh, when playing Chapman. An unforced error off the back wall. Again, that's the shot that uh, David wants Vince to try, is to go offense with his left from deep, deep in the left corner. Chapman is so quick that he can uh, just stay up there on the short line and re-kill virtually anything. Beautiful left-hand kill on the left corner. Again, especially when you consider it's coming out of the dark uh, glass there on the, on the left. Oh, uh, tomahawk drive. Again, probably a shot that uh, David wouldn't mind Vince trying uh, more often than not. But Vince uh, clearly does not want to get into these ceiling rallies, and he's trying to find ways to get out of that. And one of the ways to take these unorthodox offensive shots. Great slider serve down the right. And uh, it's virtually an ace. I don't think David touched it. Four serving six. Unfortunately, he follows it up with a very easy serve to return off the back wall. And David goes back to the lob. That, that again was not a very good lob serve since it uh, wasn't into the left corner enough and came off the back wall to Vince's strong right hand. And as a result, uh, Chapman struggled and uh, was lucky to get out of that with a hinder call. Again, the serve uh, not close to the left side wall. Vince gets on it with his right. Vince and David are also doubles partners, and they won the national championship again uh, yesterday, beating the brother-in-law team of Nadia Alvarado Jr. and John Bike. Again, you can see that even though Vince has an excellent uh, overhand left, uh, he has a hard time consistently hitting the ceiling and staying in the rallies, and uh, usually resulting in an offensive opportunity for David. Too bad for Vince. They appealed the uh, David appealed the uh, short serve and got the call. So that's just uh, we'll just play that point over. The best rally of the match so far. It's amazing that David had the presence to be able to hit that ball back down the right to score. We need a to towel to wipe up this mess. And we're back in after a tremendous rally uh, resulting in a point for David. Eight serving four. Both players made great gets in that last rally and uh, uh, took a perfect uh, pass down the right to finally end it. Another hinder call there. I believe uh, David is going for his sixth national title today. Uh, that would tie him with Fred Lewis and Jim Jacobs uh, as runner-ups on the all-time list. Of course, Nadi Alvarado uh, holds the record with 11 national titles. 
and I believe Chapman is ahead of that pace considering that he's uh, I believe 25 years old at this point not sure what happened there if the ball hit uh, Chapman or not of course he's arguing with the referee let's see if he wins his call here Referee sticks with his call. Vince is in to serve. Cramped. Alan Sherrill. Really bad. I really like the way that Vince strokes his uh, three wall serves. He hits them with a real nice angle and lots of natural that causes the ball to straighten out down the right. And I think it's his most effective serve against Chapman. In fact, he starts off with that uh, three wall serve and gets a big fat setup. There you see the crafty David Chapman uh, scoring on a on a not not necessarily a powerful pass, but a perfectly placed one. David going for a left corner kill. Ball hopped right into his body and was very difficult. Uh, nice return from uh, Vince. Oh, it's such a flat kill. He, uh, again, David levels off so well that uh, those kill shots just don't come up. Again, we can see that uh, Chapman is exclusively serving to the left uh, of Vince. Lob serve. David thinks that the ball uh, bounced erratically off the ceiling. Apparently a good call by the referee. And a very rare overhand error from Chapman. Again, you can see how well Vince hits that three wall serve. Beautiful left hand punches, uh, keeping Vince off balance. Very tough uh, a ceiling shot to the left and a mystery shot to the right. But Chapman skips it in. That's two errors in a row, one on an overhand ceiling shot, the other uh, off the back wall. Both times David was set and had a pr fairly simple shot to execute. Oh, beautiful. 35, 40 foot kill shot and I believe Chapman is calling his first time out. Okay, we're back in. Vince serving, seven serving eight after a 38 foot bomb from the right side. Vince, of course, from uh, Commerce, California, um, played a lot under the uh, tutelage of uh, Tony Wante. along with uh, Tati Silvera, Octavio Silvera, who is now a, a fireman, and uh, his, uh, his play on the Pro Tour is somewhat limited. But Tati's brother David is kind of taken over as uh, one of the top players on the, on the tour as well.
trying to find that wet spot. Can't have any wet spots on the floor. The ball will bounce erratically if it hits one of those spots. Plus, it's a, a hazard for the players as well. Now, David resumes his Chinese water torture, which is his lob serve. This one's off the back wall, though. Oh, a flat rollout. Again, down the middle of the court, Chapman's standing there, but it's just too flat. And uh, it would be difficult to uh, consistently hit that type of return. Later on in the match, when a player is uh, a little more tired and doesn't have the leg strength, uh, those shots uh, tend not to go in as well. Another ceiling shot uh, struck too hard. Uh, not a good defensive return by Chapman, and uh, Vince puts it away beautifully. In fact, he's uh, almost tied this up after a deficit uh, starting at 5-0. He's managed to almost catch up to David, showing some patience and some uh, beautiful crisp kills. And a weak return there by Chapman. Again, moving backwards, tried to lob it down the left and uh, lob it down the right, excuse me, and uh, was way too shallow with that simple return. Nine serves nine. There's another shallow uh, return. However, that was a very tough ceiling ball to the left. Excellent job of refereeing by James Consoft. Several times there, I think another referee might have taken away the offensive opportunity of Vince, Ten, who was uh, screened a couple times in that rally. Again, Five another out. weak serve. Uh, Vince gets on a roll and then he serves these uh, big fat setups to David's right hand. Uh, um, not on purpose, of course, but he's uh, struggling to find Nine. an angle on that right Ten. side wall with the serve. Close call. Vince is so fast, he might have had a shot at it, but uh, it, it was hard to tell. He didn't make much of a move for it, but that was probably because he couldn't see it. Again, you can see those aren't very good serves. I'm not sure what Vince is uh, arguing about. Uh, looked like David gave him plenty of room to hit the shot, but it was just it was such a wicked hook that uh, it jammed Vince in the it's in the stomach and he couldn't return it. Another serve that's uh, very far away from the left wall. Tremendous shot. It was even a good, even a good two-all return. Uh, amazing return by Chapman. And a brilliant uh, back wall kill from Vince, who I, bl who I believe just called a timeout. And we're back in with the score, uh, ten serving eleven. After a rollout off the back wall from Vince. There you see the great fly game of uh, Vince. You don't get to see it much when he plays Chapman because David keeps him off balance and uh, doesn't allow him, allow him a chance to hit the ball out of the air as uh, much as some of the other players do. That's a nice drive from Chapman to, again, vent, get Vince back into deep court. Vince tries that tomahawk kill. Beautiful shot by 
Munoz, Vince Munoz to put David off balance. Getting a weak return and a, an orthodox uh, back wall kill, but it worked. That ball might have taken a kind of a funny bounce off the back wall, but uh, if it did, uh, the referee didn't see it and uh, Vince didn't want the call. Vince is taking the lead now, 12-11. Again, you can see how well he hits that serve. Uh, timeout, Chapman. One minute, the score is on a roll of his own right now. He's taking a two-point lead. Another nice three-wall return by Chapman to put Munoz back on defense. Oh, oh, yeah. That was kind of a low percentage shot for Chapman to take. But it paid off. David looked pretty flat-footed during that rally. Uh, both times the ball uh, came at him at an angle where he should have backed up to do something with it, but he just kind of stood there with his feet planted and tried to hit junk, and uh, it cost him the uh, rally. There's a nice return of serve. It's a good call. Uh, I think Vince could have gotten to the ball. Vince is so good at uh, taking balls out of the air. And we're back in after a timeout to uh, wipe up the floor. We haven't had a whole lot of those uh, towel timeouts. And another unforced error from Chapman. He really looks flat-footed and uh, a little tired right now. Uh, Vince may have winded him with a couple of those long rallies. And uh, it would be quite, a, quite an upset if uh, Vince would, were to take this first game. Nice serve return. Great serve return right on the left wall. Chapman gets back in. That tends to be his great equalizer. His, his serve return is just so good. Another uh, ceiling ball hit a little hard. Great get from Chapman, and uh, thought there might be a hinder call there because Vince had to jump over him to try to get to it. Okay, we're back in, and uh, I believe we're going to play that point over. Oh, my mistake. It's 12, serving 15. Nice uh, lob there. Beautiful back wall kill, side front. Chapman levels off, and uh, there's just uh, nobody that strikes the back wall uh, like he does. Some really tough serves right now as well. Great get from Chapman, great get from Vince. It's a bad bounce off the back wall to replay. Play that one over. Not sure what happened there. We're going to play that point over. 13 15. Looked like Vince got to that shot, but he just uh, couldn't get it back to the front wall. Beautiful fly kill. Wasn't a bad return from Chapman trying to hit a 
sort of a V drive with his left hand, but Vince cut it out of the air before it uh, could strike that right side wall and rolled it out. Well, that's kind of a double-edged sword when you try those uh, unorthodox tomahawk uh, overhand drives. That time, Vince hit it right into the floor. The last time I saw Chapman lose in the finals, uh, the Nationals, it was against Toddy Silvera in Minnesota. And uh, I thought the key to that match was that Toddy played a very conservative game with his left hand. Uh, whenever he had to hit ceiling shots, he was very patient and uh, was able to hold his own with David in the ceiling rallies. It's when, it's when uh, these players lose their patience with Chapman and try to some strange or unorthodox shots that they, uh, they just start giving points away to him right and left. Another flat kill. He's uh, hit that twice now. Gone down on his knees and hit a side front kill. That ball is stri striking pretty deep, uh, pretty far back on the right side wall, but he's rolling out of the front wall. Almost looks like he's mishitting it, but I know he isn't. <coughs> Beautiful left hand uh, ceiling shot back down the left. Another back wall set up. Another back wall kill. That one looked like it had some kind of reverse on it. Uh, not, not only was it low, but it looked like it actually broke back into Vince as he was going for it. So Chapman, who was down 15-11, has now taken a 16-15 lead, uh, mainly due to these uh, tremendous back wall kills. There's another chance for him. Again, I don't think Vince wanted to hinder. I think he wants to extend the rallies, and uh, when David's on the floor, he wants to go for a uh, shot and not have the referee take it away. Oh, great rally, and Vince is uh, peeling a two-bounce uh, call here. And we're going for a towel now. Okay, we're back in after a beautiful rally, uh, ending in a Chapman point. Both players covering a lot of ground, and it was a, a very exciting rally. Nice re-kill. So, make sure I get it to you. Oh, okay, great. Chapman has those very uh, uh, almost old man strokes uh, where you can take the ball from waist high and uh, cup it in his hand and dump him into the corners with consistency. It reminds me a lot of the uh, that shovel shot that Fred Lewis used to hit with the heel of his left hand. He could actually hit that shot with a lot of offensive consistency. For a second serve, uh, Chapman's going to this underhand lob, and he gets a nice weak return from it. Yeah. Looks like David struggled a little bit with uh, taking the ball over Vince's uh, head there, uh, but he had a big offensive setup and couldn't put it away. A nice back wall kill that uh, Vince barely got to, and Chapman was, a uh, was able to stay on offense and hit a kill back down the right with uh, Vince on the floor. 
Vince is kind of stuck on 15. He was leading 15 to 11. There's David going for that right corner kill again. Beautiful def defensive shot with his right. Back down the right. But Vince has been stuck on uh, 11, uh, 15 points now. Again, that's a quality Chapman has of just uh, being able to make his opponents uh, fight for every single offensive opportunity they can. Beautiful re-kill. Another example of Chapman not going for a conventional kill shot, but uh, more or less standing his ground and hitting kind of a shovel shot with the with the heel of his uh, right hand, and Vince was able to jump all over it. <laughs> there's an example of how well it works sometimes. Very short, compact stroke, uh, just dumping the ball d back down the right. Again, Chapman it looks so relaxed out there that he can uh, make some incredibly precise uh, shots. Another very nice rally. Both players uh, making spectacular gets and uh, uh, getting out of trouble. And uh, the only way those rallies should end is with fl nice flat kills, the way that one did. Beautiful kill by Vince. Uh, again, you don't see Chapman making those types of mistakes very often. But, uh, you know, Vince is now off of uh, 15. Nice call from Chapman, uh, two bounces. Another example of a uh, beautiful angle. We need a timeout here for the towel, I believe. As I was just saying uh, a moment ago, uh, Vince hits its beautiful uh, three-wall serves that uh, really gives Chapman trouble. I think I really think it's his best uh, serve against Chapman. Mm. Again, Chapman looked a little slow uh, diving for that uh, that kill. And we're back in after uh, wiping up the wet spot on the floor there. The nose is right in this uh, game, 18 serving 19. Nice call. You could see how uh, off balance Vince was trying to cut across and get to that ball. It was difficult. <laughs> 18, 19. Replay that. 18-19. Again, Vince is appealing his get. Uh, those balls are so flat, it just seems impossible that he is getting them on one bounce, but uh, he probably is. It's just uh, almost an optimal illusion sometimes the way Chapman can reach out the last second and hit those balls before they bounce uh, the second time. Again, David thinks that uh, Vince's gloves are wet, but uh, 19, I think it's just sort of a stain the gloves have. Oh. 
Very tough drive from Vince at the perfect height. Chapman thought it was going to come off the back wall, but it just died at the last second there. A little hard. <laughs> Tremendous reactions from Chapman. Uh, not, not only does he uh, react well to the shot, he hits a beautifully placed drive that uh, catches Vince off, off balance. And I think we're going to need a towel to wipe off this floor. All right, having it's a great first game here. 1918, Chapman serving. I believe he's hit this lob serve every time for his first serve. <laughs> that was a tremendous left hand off the back wall. Reminded me of the way that uh, Vince killed the ball uh, Thursday against uh, Nadia Alvarado at 10 all with uh, Nadia serving. Tough serve to David's left. Just out of the reach of Vince. A perfect example of the uh, left outside corner kill angling away from him, and uh, Vince almost ran it down. That well, was a heartbreaking uh, miss. That ball was just inches from rolling out. 1918, Chapman serve. And for the first time, he goes not to the lob, but to an overhand Z, and uh, Vince uh, drives it down the right. Now let's see if Vince can tie it up. <laughs> Beautiful serve return, uh, pushed Vince back into the deep left corner, and uh, he was just too impatient to go back to the ceiling and decided to try to hit a kill. Again, David thinks those gloves are wet, and the referee thinks that they're not, so they're, they'll continue play here. Another nice offensive drive. Actually, this time uh, Vince drove the ball with his left hand and pushed David back to the right. Got a nice weak return and put it away. The crowd really disagrees with that. They thought Vince had a shot at it. Looked like it came up. Vince. All right, uh, the referee has reversed his call, uh, and I think that was the right decision. We're back in after the floor has been wiped down now. 18 serving 19. We've had several handouts at this point in the game. Great serve, but uh, Chapman gets it back beautifully with a three-wall return. Tough shot off the left. Oh, tremendous return. Vince has a big setup right in the floor. That's two down now that Vince uh, uh, had just barely not made uh, the right corner. Okay, we're back in after a timeout. Uh, 19 serving 18. Vince has had a couple of heartbreaking shots that have not quite made it into the right corner. Mm. Looks like Vince had a shot at that. So fairly easy uh, cutoff. But the last second uh, closed his fist and mishit it. This is possible game point playing 18. As David Chapman uh, 
tries to get his sixth national championship here. Looked like Vince was reaching down to adjust his shoes right as David hit that, hit that serve. Huh, tremendous, tremendous get, Chapman. Uh, that ball must have been just inches from the floor off the back wall, and he managed to lift it up and hit Vince and uh, got to play the point over. Back wall set up. Well, came back to David's left hand. Flat roll out. David Chapman has won the first game of the Pro Singles Championship. We'll have a five minute break now. Okay, we're back in with the score 0 0 here at the beginning of the second game. Very exciting first game. Uh, Chapman got off to a fast start. Vince caught up, uh, jumped ahead 15 11. Chapman then got, then got uh, very hot off the back wall. And, Got the lead back. And it was nip and tucked until the final score, 21-18. Vince starts off 1-0 uh, here in the second game. And he's trying to get that serve down the right uh, in a groove, trying to generate weak returns and aces. Very tough uh, to see that ball coming out of the left side wall, and uh, Vince made a made an unforced error. Mm. That's been David's uh, best weapon: is that right hand off the back wall when he's on the right side of the court, and he's uh, either gone side front. More often than not, that time he hit a straight kill, straight kill down the right. Oh, tremendous retrieves from both players. Looked like that ball was down twice. Once when Vince returned it, and the second time when Chapman ran it down and hit a fist drive for the score. David content to just keep hitting that lob serve. It's a nice return there from Vince. Kind of a lackluster attempt there from Vince, though, with uh, his left hand going side front to the right. David ran it down and hit a nice drive kill for a 3 to 1 lead. Tough shot, uh, big setup for Vince. Well, it looked like uh, maybe. Vince had given up on that shot. It was well placed down the right, but I guess the uh, referee, James Konstoff, thought uh, he could run it down, and we'll play that one over. Three serving one. Chapman showing a little bit of maturity here. Uh, in years past, he might have uh, gone, got upset and gone out to talk to the referee and all that sort of thing. This time he just keeps his concentration and continues with the match. <laughs> Another tough call, but... Vince definitely had a shot at that. Three, one. Replay. 300 calls in a row now. Score still, three serving one. Really, it's pretty common to see uh, hitters come in clusters like this especially when Chapman plays. He likes to hit a lot of kills right by his body. And when they come up and when his opponents are as fast as Vince and John Bike and players of that, that caliber, uh, he generates a lot of hinders. Oh, <laughs> tremendous get from uh, Vince. Even had a little reverse on it to break away from David.
Let's see if Vince can avoid the uh, sort of slow start he had last game. He had to expend a lot of energy in order to catch up. Looked like that was coming off the back wall and Vince reached out and just kind of swatted it away. And um, Probably could have let that ball go by him and come off the back wall for a setup. But when the ball's coming that fast at, at you, it's hard to make those decisions. It's easier to see them from up here. Another nice example of the outside corner kill. Opponents on the left side of the court strike the side wall he's nearest and invariably it breaks away from him. It uh, angles away from him and is very difficult to, to get to, even if, if it's struck uh, fairly high. David is just hitting beautiful back wall kills in this whole entire match. That was another example of one that looked like it might have popped up, but at the last minute it just stayed flat and Vince couldn't get to it. Okay, we'll play that one over. Apparently the, the, the serve was short. And still, it is still a five serving one. Oh, tremendous uh, ceiling ball right on the left side wall. I believe that was reverse uh, that broke into Vince. He was expecting uh, David to try a kill. Instead, David drove it right at his feet with a nice reverse and uh, got, an, got a forced error out of that. So David could not have scripted this uh, second game any better for himself. Uh, he's jumped off to another big lead. That was a very nice uh, uh, stroke kill by Vince into the right corner. Unforced error off the back wall. You can see David really trying to keep Vince in the left corner there. Nice call by the referee. Vince was screened. I think we can see a clear pattern developing here in the second game as David has really, really has uh, fine-tuned his touch into the left corner with the ceiling game. When he gets in a groove like that, uh, players just find themselves uh, constantly flailing away in deep left court. Nice re-kill. Another example of uh, Chapman wanting uh, Vince to take a, an offensive uh, attempt off the back wall with his left hand. Oh, but it rains it pours, and that was clearly a ceiling attempt with David's uh, left fist and mishit it and it uh, turned into a kill shot in the left corner. Terrible serve. Vince uh, doesn't do much with it. 45 plus national champions. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. And yet another outside corner kill with his right hand off the back wall by David Chapman. 
he has really got that angle down as well. And 9-1 uh, here in the second game. It uh, doesn't look good for Vince right now. We should keep in mind that Chapman has won every pro stop the, this year except one. I believe Vince uh, beat him uh, in one of the pro stops this, this spring. But the fact is these other pros are pretty used to uh, this progression here where Chapman forces them into one error and, and bad choice after another. Never see another unforced error from Vince's left hand off the back wall. Oh, that ball didn't reach. Uh, Chapman had a clear shot there at the right corner, and but he was so off balance, uh, he mishit it. So Vince is back in now. Let's see if he can get a run going here with, with the serve, uh, with the score, one serve and ten. Not sure what Vince is going to try from this angle. Just another second serve. Uh, not a very safe serve to hit. Beautiful kill down the right from Chapman. It's really amazing to me that uh, just about a half an hour ago I thought he was on the ropes. Uh, score was 11 all and Vince jumped ahead and David looked flat footed and tired and I thought maybe that the uh, the strain of playing uh, both ways had caused him to get too tired to really play effectively. And now he looks stronger than ever. A great kill down the right. Perfect angle sliding down the wall. Now he's on a roll and it looks like Vince is the one who's uh, uh, lost his focus. Yet another unforced error from Vince. Looks like he's content to just keep shooting, and if they fall in, great. If not, uh, get the match over with. Notice that Vince isn't even really calling timeouts. He's just uh, taking his shots when he gets them. Like that. Beautiful get. But... <laughs> Chapman is just so good at uh, angling the ball when most players will just react and try to hit it back. He seems to be able to have the reaction time to set up and drive it right back down the opposite wall. I believe that was two bounces. Inside out. Okay, time in after uh, we wipe the floor off. One serving 13. Too bad, that was a nice serve, but the referee called it a uh, screen. Well, Vince uh, worked really hard that rally and got the setup he wanted. But I, like, like I said, I think he's uh, played a long tournament himself. Uh, he really generates a lot of the offense for his doubles team when he and Chapman play. And uh, I think maybe that he worked a little harder on Thursday, on Friday, in the doubles finals than, than David did. And uh, I think he's kind of hit the wall here. 14 serving one. Chapman rolling uh, inexorably ahead towards his sixth national singles title. Amazing accomplishment. He's only 25 years old. and um, 
again, barring injury or any more weight gain, because <laughs> he's yeah, gained quite a bit of weight over the years, it uh, looks like he may uh, uh, be on his way to breaking Naughty's uh, record, but uh, let's not uh, call this match over with yet. David's stroke off the back wall has been on the entire match. 15 to 1. Chapman is uh, just the master at maintaining that front court position, forcing players to run around him and expend, and expend energy uh, while he just uh, stands there, moving them from side to side, back and forth. Perfect example here. Perfect example of what I was talking about. The players checking the floor for wet spots. Again, another brutal rally for Vince. He, he ran a lot, uh, only to lose another point as uh, Chapman serves at 16 to 1. This is the last match of the day, last match of the tournament. I can hear the USHA uh, uh, officials uh, pulling up the tape and moving, uh, bringing the banners down. And uh, it's been a great week here in Minnesota at the uh, University of Minnesota. That ball just skipped in. Vince is trying to get off that one point that he scored at the beginning of the match. Chapman has ran 16 straight since then. Oh, Chapman is just pouring it on. 17 to 1. And he's just unconscious off the, off the back wall. I, I think maybe 70, maybe 80 percent of his uh, rallies have been ended with that uh, right hand off the back wall. When you force your opponent to play ceiling rallies, that's usually the best uh, opportunity you get is a ceiling ball that struck too hard or that misses or one that misses the uh, ceiling. There's a nice kill from Vince from very deep court. To his credit, Vince has uh, continued to play hard and uh, continues to hustle. He's had a great tournament. Another national doubles title for him with Chapman. This, and this is his second straight uh, singles final, and he won his first pro stop this year. So uh, a great season for uh, one of the really uh, good guys on the tour. Another unforced error. I believe Vince will be defending his uh, three-wall title this year. Um, he's a superb three-wall player. It's one I've lost track of how many singles and doubles titles he's won in three-wall. Nice drive by Chapman. Vince expected that ball to come off the back wall, and then at the last second he realized he it wasn't going to carry and tried to get it back, with, and uh, it was just too tough to handle. There's that underhand lob that uh, David hits well. Always wondered if he would ever develop 
a power serve or a change up. But it uh, doesn't look like he's ever going to need it. <laughs> uh, Chapman felt like uh, Vince's kill skipped, but everyone else saw it as a good kill. There's a point. Two serving 18. Been a long time between points for Vince, but let's see if he can get a little run going now. Again, after he defaulted last year, it was, it's nice to see him uh, in there uh, playing out the match and uh, giving it his best. And he's just had a great season. And, and uh, in a great tournament. I've always felt that uh, Vince and John Bike as well uh, should think about uh, just going the singles route. I think they'd have a better chance of beating Chapman if they didn't uh, play quite so many matches uh, during the week. Especially now that David has uh, gained a little weight and I believe he's married and uh, isn't playing as much and his stamina could become a, a weakness that they could exploit. Right now, however, he's coasting. Uh, he's, he said that he's, been in, he's in great shape. He said he's done a lot of aerobics and uh, uh, hasn't played as much handball, but he just uh, tried to get in his best cardiovascular shape he could get in for the tournament. Some good power there from Chapman. He's not considered a hard hitter, but in that rally, uh, he really put some velocity on, on those shots. Over the years, that's been the one area where he has developed some. Is as he's gotten a little older, he's gotten a little stronger, and uh, he's been able to uh, muscle the ball. When where in years past he was uh, uh, at lighter and, and younger and didn't have those types of strength shots. Still, still, he'll never be considered one of the hard hitters, but uh, certainly his power is <coughs> adequate for uh, what he needs. <laughs> uh, I could never do that. It was, it was, it's tremendous the way he moves into the right corner. and As Rick Christian says, he paints himself on the left wall and uh, takes it with his right and hits that nice flat kill. Another reverse, that's the third or fourth time I've seen that to where Chapman takes the ball off the back wall and comes or, comes over it and it's a nice uh, little reverse to, that uh, Vince is just not looking for. Very tough uh, lob serve. Good call. Tough, tough lob serve. But Vince was able to get back in the rally and get a nice kill of his own. Beautiful fly kill. Vince is getting hot here with his left. It's a couple kills in a row. <laughs> Just too tough. Wasn't really a difficult offensive shot anyway for David, but uh, he could have done something else instead of he just put it away. 
move in now and see if he can't uh, close out this match and get his sixth national title. Flat kill. Vince looks like he still has plenty of energy and uh, is able to move back and take a couple extra steps to get his weight behind the shot and hit some very nice kills here at the end of this match. Nice return to serve there from Chapman. Gets an unforced error from Vince. Oh, great drive. Good example of uh, how much stronger Chapman's got. He was jammed, took it with his left fist, and kind of came over it and hit it with power and with reverse and hit it down the right wall for, for a point. And I believe that serve was a short. And uh, they'll play it over. Looked like it hit the line and Vince didn't really try to follow through on a shot. So 20 serving four. Well, there's a great way to end the match. A kill with his left hand off the back wall. David Chapman wins his sixth national title. National Pro Singles title. Congratulations to David. And I hope you uh, at home have enjoyed this match as well.